Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. I am on my Mandraro virtual machine because we are going to be talking about Arch and how to prevent applications from updating on Arch Linux. Now I know what a lot of you are going to say, Mandraro isn't technically Arch Linux. Well, it uses the same Arch system and this is just the best way to explain it so I don't have to build an Arch system in a virtual machine. Mandraro is easy to get going to virtualize, so that's why I'm using it. So to start off, <clears throat> I'm going to downgrade a program. Now the reason I'm going to do that is so that we can artificially prevent an upgrade. So downgrader Firefox. So I'm going to downgrade Firefox to version 11, or version 65, sorry. 11 is a bit too much. Now I was going to download, downgrade it, download the older package. So I will be right back. All right, so now that everything is taken care of for the downgraded package, we need to prevent it from upgrading. Now, you might be asking, why would you want to prevent an application from upgrading on Arch? Well, the Arch Linux way of doing things, you know, and even with Manjaro, it still happens too, just because of the nature of how fresh packages come in. It's less likely with Manjaro, but it can still happen. Um, you may get an update. Something may happen where some software comes along that has a bug in it. No one caught it, and it breaks your system. With Ubuntu, they have QA testing, and to a lesser extent, like, Fedora and these other distros where they go through and they test things because I got to make sure it runs stable. On Manjaro, it's a community project, so sometimes they miss bugs and sometimes things happen. And on Arch Linux proper, they minimally test things and then they push it along as soon as they can deem it stable. So if you run into a problem package, this is a way to get around it. So, and in the article, I show you how to seek out a package list, uh, you know, seek out the list for the package and add to that. We're going to use Firefox for this one, but uh, to start off, you need to open up the pacman configuration file. So, like so. Now we need to go down and locate ignore group. So, ignore pkg and ignore group. We need to delete this here, and then we can just write Firefox. And that's the name of our Firefox package. And you can also add multiple, and then just press Control X to exit, and then just upgrade like normal. So sudo pacman syyu. So now it's going to sync with the Arch servers, the Manjaro servers. And as you can see, it has now ignored our Firefox upgrade. So now say there was a bug in 67, and I wanted to avoid that bug, and I can force Arch to just do updates like normal, but just skip Firefox. So just keep me at 65 for a while. You can do this with kernels. You can do this with whatever you want to stay on if you're having problems with the newer version. And uh, also Downgrader is a good thing to use because you can just download an older, less broken package and then prevent it from being upgraded. And if you want to disable the prevention, like if you want to make it uh, upgrade again, you can just add this back here. Or, you know, if you don't want to add that back there, you can just uh, delete Firefox from here or whatever package you decide to put there, save it, and then rerun the sync. It will once again sync package databases and it will download the latest Firefox and upgrade it. And, you know, if you had, say, the Linux kernel prevented from being upgraded, it would download that and so forth. Anyways, guys, just a quick video on how to prevent software from upgrading on Arch Linux. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but if you ever run into problem packages on Arch or Manjaro, this is definitely something that you want to know how to do. So I'll see you guys in the next video.